Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Well, first of all, uh, I would like to thank you all for being here today. Uh, it is an absolute pleasure to be standing before you today to help introduce to you a wonderful new product, which our company has been developing for the last decade. Now, we've named it EchoWin. And we would like to take this opportunity here today for the very first time, showcase to everyone here and around the world this product that is going to revolutionize the air conditioner industry. Now, a civilized society and a desire for better living becomes a universal theme. As humanity continues to move forward in our goal to build a better tomorrow and create a brighter future, we have become ignorant to the cries of Mother Earth. Global warming is an undeniable fact. We are the cause of it. If we don't do something about it now, what will become of our Earth? In our everyday lives, do you know what the highest cause of energy consumption is? Air conditioners. It takes up 30% of our daily energy consumption. Now we looked at the facts and decided to do something about it. Through 10 years of research and development, we've created an air conditioning system that is able to lower energy consumption by 30% and provide our society with a healthier and greener environment. Now this remarkable product is the hybrid thermal system EchoWin. It fully utilizes the fundamental concept of thermodynamics, where heat flows between a high temperature and a low temperature. In other words, flowing from high heat to low heat. Now, this is also generally known as the principle of far infrared radiation. In turn, the EchoWind system is able to produce a beneficial result in energy consumption. Now, at this point, I would like to first show you a video that was just released on the 8th of this month by Japan's national television station, the NHK, broadcast both nationally in Japan and internationally to over 220 countries. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a look. Hi, Michelle. Today I'm in Uto, Kumamoto Prefecture. I've heard that a local fitness center here has a very special air conditioning. Let's go and check it out. Uto City is on Kyushu Island in the west of Japan. It has a warm climate and rich farmland. We headed to a local gymnasium built over 30 years ago to meet the Takumi, or innovator, who created its cutting-edge air conditioner. Hello. Hello. This is our Takumi, Takanobu Murakami. I was told that I could find a highly sophisticated air conditioner here. Yes, our product was just installed here today, in fact. Would you like to see it? We were shown inside. Oh, it's so cool in here. Extremely different from outside. Very, very cool. We visited on August 12th. The temperature outside had hit 37 degrees Celsius. In contrast, inside the gym hall, it was 27.9 degrees Celsius. Around 28, a difference of 9 degrees. So where is the machine that is cooling this huge space? The air conditioner is actually installed along the walls. Oh, it's very cold. Behind the bars are a row of pipes. These are the air conditioner. Made of aluminum, they line the walls. I held a piece of paper up in front of them, but... No wind. The system doesn't emit any cold airflow like a regular air conditioner, but it still cools the space. How is this so? This air conditioning system uses far infrared rays. Far infrared rays are a form of light that heats objects when it hits them. The warmer something is, the more far infrared rays it emits. Objects with a lower temperature absorb the far infrared rays and their temperature rises. When it is used as a heater, 45 degree hot water is run through the pipes of the Takumi's device. The far infrared rays they emit give off heat and warm the body. So how does it cool us down when it's used as a cooler? 
We used a thermographic camera to measure the temperature distribution in the gym hall. Areas where pipes are located show the blue. We measured the temperature of the pipes. It was 7 to 10 degrees Celsius. Compared to when the system is off, you can see that both the human body and the floor are cool. So, what is the principle behind this? When you run 7 to 10 degree cold water through the pipes, their surface temperature changes to match that temperature. This radiant air conditioner then absorbs our body heat and cools the temperature down. That's the theory behind it. The moment our body emits heat in the form of far infrared rays, it is snatched away. But usually we are receiving the far infrared rays emitted by many other objects at the same time. So our bodies don't necessarily cool down. The Takumi's device absorbs the heat emitted by our bodies in the form of far infrared rays. The heat is carried out with the flowing water in the pipes. The device keeps its low temperature and keeps the body feeling cool. When you enter a tunnel, you feel cooler, right? It's like our body heat is absorbed by the tunnel walls. The subtle, quiet coolness of this system is similar to that of a tunnel. The system is particularly suitable for indoor sports such as badminton and table tennis, where wind can affect the game. Uto City is making efforts to attract international badminton tournaments. In addition to these benefits, the Takumi has also strived to make the system operate using less energy. It is installed in a nursery school and elderly care facility. The elderly care center unit only uses 23% of the electricity consumed by a conventional air conditioner. So, it is a real energy saver. The Takumi started working on developing eco-friendly air conditioning in 2004. There were many ups and downs along the way. The first system he developed needed 8,000 liters of water to cover a space similar to the gymnasium, and it guzzled power. But the Takumi was determined to create an energy-efficient system. He had a breakthrough when his son handed him a cold can of drink one day. It gave him the hint he needed about how to save energy. Try swirling the liquid inside. Oh, it's cold! Yes, it is, isn't it? Really cold. This inspired me to think, if I run liquid only along the surface, the heat transfer will keep on occurring. It was after this light bulb moment that the Takumi created his system. He made a double-walled pipe and ran water only between the two pipes. This way, he only needed 1,600 liters of water without any loss of performance. It was the birth of his highly energy-efficient system. We asked him what was next. The Earth's environmental problems are my biggest concern. My lifelong dream and ambition is to expand the company's eco-friendly systems worldwide. Sorry, that started playing again. So, at this point, I would just like to share with you some staggering statistics that we just received. Now recently we've compared Uto Gymnasium, which you just saw in the video, using the Echoin system, with another gym, the Yamaka gym, which is still using a conventional AC. Now both gyms are about the same size, Uto being 1,680 square meters and Yamaka was 1,700 square meters. The running cost for Yamaka gym using conventional ACs for 90 minutes is 85 US dollars. Now the running cost for Uto gym in the video using uh, our system for 90 minutes is only six US dollars. That is one twelfth the cost of Yamaka. Now in terms of energy consumption, Yamaka, because it uses conventional ACs, which burn fuel uh, using gas or fuel oil, uses 100 liters per hour, while the Equin system in Uto using electricity uses only 44 kilowatts per hour. And finally, the emission of CO2. While the gym in Yamaka, again, conventional ACs, emits 271 kilograms of CO2. The Uto gym, with the Ecoin system, only emits 23 kilograms of CO2. 
That is a whopping 1 14th less emission of the harmful carbon dioxide. Conventional ACs also require a large amount of air ducts. Now, not only does this cost more, but it will also take up a huge amount of space. Now, after installation, continuous maintenance and cleaning are necessary, which also costs money. And it will require a lot of work and manpower. The Echoin system, on the other hand, only uses air ducts that have a diameter of around 15 to 30 centimeters. It does not require a huge amount of space, and almost no maintenance is necessary after installation. The time needed to install these units is way shorter than the time needed to install conventional ACs. And the amount of work is a lot less as well. Now, our system has also been very well received and is given various uh, prestigious awards in Japan, such as the Japan Manufacturing Awards, the Environmental Business Awards, and the Eco Products Awards from the Japan's Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport, and Tourism. I would like to once again reiterate what's so special about Echowind. It uses far infrared radiation principles, which in turn helps create a comfortable and healthy, soothing environment. Being windless reduces the chances of spreading various germs and bacteria, helping to create a healthier surrounding. Lowering energy consumption by a significant amount not only creates huge financial savings, but also helps ensure a greener planet. Now, our hope, our goal, and expectation is very simple. To bring the beneficial Echowind system to every home. And we want to accomplish this through effective operational and management means. And we started by establishing a joint venture and manufacture base in China's Niaoling province in 2011. Now, to welcome the forthcoming third-generation hybrid Echowind next year, which is a new model that was created especially for tropical areas, we've established Echo Factory Asia Limited in Hong Kong. This new establishment will be servicing the Southeast Asian region. Now, it is our sincere hope and our goal to help bring about a clean and healthy lifestyle to Southeast Asia. Our ultimate goal is to help benefit the lives of everyone around the globe and to do what we can to help save Mother Earth. Finally, please allow me to introduce the person who started all this, the inventor, and the man behind Echowin. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome CEO of Echo Factory Japan, Mr. Takanobu Murakami.皆様こんにちは。え、今日はですね、このIGM2013に参加させていただいて本当に嬉しく思っています。え、私は今ご紹介いただきました日本の次世代少年類レーダーモギーズハイブリッドサームシステムエコウィンの製造メーカーの株式
we would do anything using any resource, even if it's harmful and emits large amounts of CO2, which is devastating to our Earth, worsening global warming just for commercial gain and development. Now, if this continues, what will become of our Earth? That is a problem that we as human beings who live on this planet must all face. え、近い将来起きうる人類存続に関わる大きなリスクとなっています。次世代を担う我々の子供や孫の世代に温暖化はますます進行すると言われており、我々の目指す豊かな暮らしが温暖化を進行させ、その影響が次世代に与える影響を我々
Actually, um, it uses it actually uses cold water, which is between seven to nine degrees Celsius, and it circulates in the pipe. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you so when, it, when you circulate, you are taking heat. You are taking heat from one one spot, and then you are transferring heat to another spot. Are you saying that you're using a, a infrared as a source of energy to, to do that? Well, actually, I mean, we're not changing any like scientific... Actually, what, um, what Mr. Murakami is su suggesting is we can actually show you for yourself at the exhibit because we have um, our systems actually there. I think it's much easier to demonstrate and show it to you instead of telling it to you because yeah, yeah. it's a scientific principle. And okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Normal air conditioning or refrigeration system they talk about how many uh, kilowatt per hour, yeah? Uh, what is the, the largest system that your system can produce in terms of kilowatt per hour heat transfer? Oh, actually, it depends, it depends on the size of our outdoor unit outside of the building. It depends on the size. What is the largest? Sorry. This Triangle. Yeah. So at the at the moment, the largest it can go up to is 500 kilowatts. At the moment. Yeah. 